Hey guys, Jason here with the One Stop How To Guys, bringing you episode 24 of Practical Drupal Development. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to install a theme, and this theme will uh, serve as the base for all of the custom theming that we're going to do on this website. So, first thing we need to do is head on over to drupal.org. Once you're there, click the Themes tab and hit Search. You're going to get an error because we didn't actually enter anything into the search bar. Don't worry about that. We do want to filter down our core compatibility to 7x so that we know that these themes are available for our version of Drupal. Now, you can search through this whole 24-page list of themes until you find one that you like, and then you can install that theme directly onto the site in the method that I'm going to show you, and you can run with it just that way. There are a lot of themes on this list that are ready to go out of the box, meaning you can install that theme and... It, it's perfect for your site. You don't have to do any kind of custom theming to it. You might have to move your block regions around a little bit, as we'll see um, coming up, because certain themes have different block regions that might not be there, or they might have extra ones, and you might like it somewhere else. But the CSS theming portion of all of that is already completed. So you can you can search through this list and find one that you really like, install it and you're ready to go and a lot of them work with the color module that allow you to at least change the colors of the theme um, without actually having to dive into the CSS so there are a lot of themes on Drupal's website for people who just either don't feel like or don't have the, the knowledge to theme it themselves we, on the other hand, are going to do a lot of custom theming. Now, these top few I do want to kind of mention. Zen theme is part of core, um, and if you want to use the Zen theme, please do not mess with the CSS of the Zen theme directly in core. Remember, we don't ever mess with those, those files in core. So you have to kind of copy that out and put it into the themes folder or just simply come over to Drupal and download it and install it with the method that I'm going to show you. But Zen theme is completely white. There's nothing really happening on it. There's a lot of block regions. It's kind of designed for people who want to just theme the crap out of their site. Now, the Omega theme is really, really responsive heavy. There's a lot of breakpoints. There's a lot of HTML5 stuff. It's crazy. Um, I don't like Omega just because it's extremely bulky. Um, I never really enjoyed working with it, but it is a solid, good theme. And if you're really up for the challenge of digging through all that it has to offer, by all means, go with it. And I, I kind of feel the same way about Adaptive. But if you scroll down the page a little bit here, you can see that there is the business theme. And that is the one that I'm going to use. The reason that I'm going to use business is because it's simple. Um, it really it puts out the HTML in, in a way that I like it. It provides a lot of really, really solid classes that makes theming really easy. Um, so I just, I like this theme. It's very simple. It's very easy to use. And also right out of the box, if you don't know how to do any kind of theming, it is one of those themes that you can just use. As you can see up at the top, it has some theming stuff happening for the menu there and for drop downs and um, this slideshow is built into the theme and you can you can change those images if you don't even know how to use views. This theme is really, really great for beginning and for custom theming, at least in my opinion. Now, this theme does have other uh, these theme developers do have other themes, such as responsive business, which is basically a responsive version of this same theme. It's a, it's a little different looking, but it functions the same way. And I really like to use that one when I do my responsive theming. Now, responsive theming is a little bit too heavy for this series. We're not going to be diving into how to do all of that. We're just going to build a core desktop site here. Um, and if you really want me to do a responsive site, um, we can break this off and we can use the same site that we already built to build a responsive version of it on top of that. But for now, all we're going to do is just build a basic desktop site. So we need to download the latest version here. 
and head into our downloads folder and we're going to extract it here. Now, we need to navigate over to our sites folder, much like we do when we install a module. So we're gonna come over here to sites all, but instead of going to modules, we're simply gonna go into themes. Now there should be a readme in here and you can go ahead and just delete that. It's just telling you that you put your themes here. Now we're gonna open up this folder if you downloaded the zip and you can see that inside of it is a folder called business. We're gonna drag that over. And that's it. If we go back over to our website here and click appearance, down at the very bottom, you can see that now business is available to us. So we're gonna enable and set as default. And once Drupal loads and does its thing, you can see there that there's our business theme. Now, when we close this down, our whole site is just going to kind of change right in front of us here. And you can see that we now are presented with this new theme. And you can also see that our block regions are all screwed up. The reason being is because if we come in here to appearance, if you remember right, we put actually structure blocks. I'm sorry about that. Um, we put our homepage slider in the highlighted section. But if you click demonstrate block regions here, you can see there is no highlighted section. So it kind of moved it to the next possible section that it could find, which was the sidebar, which is definitely not where we want our homepage slider. It's not really <laughs> designed for the sidebar. So if you can see here, it seemed to move quite a bit into the sidebar. So the social media icons, we are just going to move down to the footer like we had them. Same with the newsletter sign up and the copyright. Our homepage slider, we are going to move to the content top. And then we're going to scroll down here and just make sure that everything is kind of set up the way that we want it to. Okay, now we can save this out. And that should rearrange our block regions back to kind of where we had them. So there we go. Now, there is one thing that we do need to get rid of, and that's this default slideshow. It's definitely not something that we want to use because we built our own custom slideshow. But the one that we're actually going to theme up is going to look somewhat similar to this. Um, so... I'm just going to show you how to get rid of that here. If you go up to Appearance, Settings. Now, in here is where you can change some of those default color things that I was talking about if you still have the color module on. If we click on the menu here, we can drag this around and make it, you know, maybe a, a teal blue. The menu's hover state we might make let's say a darker blue here and all of our links we want to be green our links hover states are just going to be a darker green um, we'll make the buttons on our site just a nice blue and the button hover states again a different blue. Now we're not going to use this. I just kind of want to show you how this works. You can also change the main background here and we're going to make ours completely white. And we are going to turn off the site name. Now you can leave this on. This is the, the one stop that was right next to the logo, but we're going to turn off the site name, the site slogan. We do want the main menu and the secondary menus. Um, we will come back in here in the next episode and change the logo that's in the top, as well as the favicon that shows up here in the top of the browser window. We'll change those things later. Um, show breadcrumbs, we're going to turn off for now. Ah, eh, we'll leave them on. But this slideshow here is where that default slideshow is and where it links and how it functions. But we're just going to turn it off and we're also going to turn off their copyright in the footer and their credits in the footer. Now, you can leave these things on and it's not bad if you want to give credit back to the people who designed this business framework here. But um, I'm just going to turn it off because I don't want it to get all cluttered up and have you be confused by it. So we're going to save that configuration. 
And when we close it down, you'll see that our theme is going to change again. And we're going to have these hideous different colors up here in the top and our buttons are different. All of our links are different. Like I said, we're not going to be using that. And in fact, I want to turn off the color module right now. We're going to hit modules. And we're going to just come down here to color and we're going to turn it off because a lot of times the color module can really make theming a pain in the butt. If you're, if you're going to do theming via CSS and that kind of stuff, you really don't want to be fighting the color module the entire time that you're doing it. So we're just going to go ahead and shut the color module off and I want to show you how to do everything via CSS. Um, so that'll refresh again. Now, if, and you can see that it went back to the default themes from the site. So, I want to throw a challenge out to you guys if, if you're willing to accept it. If you are a graphic designer and would like to design how we are going to make this site look, um, please by all means submit to me kind of just a, a PDF version in the one-stop email address down at the bottom here. Go ahead and submit your design to me. I'll review them, and if we get if we get enough, I'll decide which one we want to use. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to theme this using very, very basic colors and things like that. But if you are a graphic designer and you're up for the challenge, or if you're, if you're not a graphic designer and you just kind of want to design maybe give it a shot to see what you can come up with as far as what we have. Now, mind you, we are not going to be adding new stuff. So we're not going to add a secondary slider on the about pages, but um, just some sort of uh, mock-up for the homepage. You don't have to do the whole site or anything like that, just the homepage if you're interested. So if you're willing to accept that challenge, I will give you a little while to kind of come up with something and design it, and then I will find a way to make all of those files available to everyone so that you can follow along with the series. Otherwise... I'm pretty much just going to do this with some boring CSS colors and stuff like that, which is not a problem. We can do a lot of cool stuff with it that way, too. But if you do decide that you want to do a mock-up, make sure that all of your graphics are 100% yours, that you are not going out and taking something from somewhere else. Otherwise, I can't use it on this site. Um, if you are chosen, I will be in contact with you um, uh, regarding certain other things. But if you're up for the challenge, give it a shot, and uh, I'd love to hear from you on that, and maybe we'll use your design. So, that is how you get a theme on. Now, that there are other ways that you can do themes um, as far as renaming the theme, but that's just that's too much. Right now, all we're doing is just building this basics theme. So we're just going to leave the theme named business, which is not a problem at all because it's the only th theme on our site. We really don't have any reasons that we need to rename it. So for now, we're just going to leave it as business. I hope that I hear from you with some cool mock-up designs of this homepage. And if you like this video, make sure you click the like button, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you in the next episode of One Stop How To Guys Practical Drupal Development. Later, guys.